camera two. You guys are live. Hey! <laughs> Hit it! Hi, it's Emiko with HTV, and I am sitting here with my fellow Hammond brother, who I have now been told I'm supposed to call you Rio. That's Okumoto. my name, Rio di Giappanello. Oh, tarari. <laughs> nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank yeah. you for coming and being part of HTV. Um, Rio is one of the most dynamic, interactive, passionate, in your face, rock, prog rock yeah. keyboard players. That's me. I, I just saw you uh, do the performance side of this, which everybody will see later. Uh, I was stunned. I was sitting there behind the camera with my mouth hanging open. It was absolutely incredible. It, it, Thank you. It really, <laughs> it really was. Um, and, and I'm so excited that you're part of the ham fam. That's what we call it. Oh, the ham fam. Ham it, ham it from ham the beginning. When I started playing, that's my soul. So tell me, um, I would like to know what attracted you to Hammond organ in the beginning? Uh, the John Lowe. And well, actually, in the beginning, when I was uh, maybe like second, third grade, I listened to the uh, Jimmy Smith, mm -hmm. the record of Cats, and I said, oh my God, I was a kid, you know. Then I was a, I became a teenager, and, and I heard the, the massing head with the, uh, the Marshall going through. And that was it, John Lord and Keith Emerson, and maybe all these pro guys playing the hammer. They said, oh, I want it. So what speaks to you most about the Hammond? It's, I tell you, when you, when you play with, with the band, in a band, especially like rock band, mm -hmm. all the keyboard, it doesn't cut. When, when the guitar player, you know, the drama is going on, and when you play piano or the synth brass sound, it doesn't cut. But when you play Hammond and it was just grind down with the distortion and spinning Wesley and then you hurt. The thing that I I that stuck out to me about your playing was the fact that I feel like you use so much more of the instrument. sound and a very particular way of playing the Hammond and a very intense spirit comes out when you do that and so I'd like you to talk a little bit about that because you're in a progressive rock band called Spock's Beard and and I was playing in a church for a long time your black church and when I see Hammond prayer they're just constantly doing the job you know like this Right. And, it's, and 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 the vibrato, mm -hmm. special set on vibrato, right. combining it, and it, even when they play in the one one verse, just you know, changing the tone and the spinning, and you know all kind of this. I said, oh, that's how I should do. So because the hand has so many different color and tone, right. will give lots of orchestration within the band. So do you? Do you find that um, the Hammond does something specific for you that other keyboards may not be able it's to just offer most you? warmest cushion. So when I play solo on Hammond, I get more. 
<laughs> the applause well, factor is Yeah, more. dynamics. Mm-hmm. It's Greece. Right. You know, yeah. you just go nuts. Yeah. That's all about it. And when I go Greece and just hit one note, mm-hmm. it just cuts through so much. Just off the top of your head, three words to describe Hammond. Passion. Passion and excitement and uh, um, sex. Sexy. It's so sexy. It is sexy. This Hammond. It's true. Really sexy. Well, Rio, thank you so much for, for being here on HTV. Thank you. thank you for having me. Mm. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.